with it. Mm. My tanty bug. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi. Today we are going to film how we make a backdrop for you. So we are going to show you how we cut it out. A lot of the times we use our uh, different machine and we cut shapes, but today we're just doing a simple <laughs> rectangle and then we'll show you how we do the backs and then I will show you how I paint it and everything and get it ready. So I hope you enjoy this video. Bye. Hi. Bye, behind you. In my world, I don't worry, darling. I just smile, cause you're by my side. And now your eyes open up every morning to the love that shines in mine. And I see it in yours too. So now I sing to you. And when you go, Leave me here all alone I'll be waiting We can make it Because I know That after all this time You'll read between these lines Feeling fine Cause you said This is all you want No more playing, playing, playing All this waiting, waiting, waiting I call you mine I know you feel the same I do No more playing Wishing Waiting I was Taking 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 Baby So this is my Homemade workstation It's in Family business um, Building But This is where I paint And sand So Right now, I was just working on stuff the other day, so I've got like all this out. Here's the one we just made. These are ones we are working on. They're gonna be so good. We're gonna um, use some wood glue to kind of hold it together, these two, and then after that, we're going to screw it in in the back, but for now, we're gonna, I got them here and I'm just waiting for Alex to help me come wood glue it, but yeah, this is kind of where I do a lot of stuff, especially in the winter. At, when it's warmer out, I um, paint it at home a lot outside, but yeah. Here's another look at these. They're going to be so good. They're separate, two pieces, but I have them pushed together right now, so it'll be easier to figure out the measurements. And then our goal is to put some words on the sides, so should be really cute. Reminiscing on the time when we first met I was tongue-tied, stupefied, what was it that I said? Probably something foolish that didn't make much sense But you remembered a year later when I saw you next When I told you, told you that I need to hold you, hold you You said come right on over. over I could not wait to show you I cherish all your lines And after all this time looking to make backdrops, I highly recommend that you get access to a $100,000 uh, CNC panel saw. <laughs> it's a great starting point. <laughs> it really does make this stuff a lot easier. I'm very glad we have access to it. There we go. So now, I gotta cut it into two pieces because this part is what's gonna attach to the backdrop, and then this part will hinge. That's how we do it. You were turning me up, and you were turning me on. You woke me up at the break of dawn. I told you, baby, I'm so far gone. But I was sneaking out, and I was sneaking in. If you 
you're curious on wood, um, a lot of the times we like to use birch or Baltic birch. This is the nice side of the birch. Um, so for this one we did, but we've also been experimenting with sanded plywood, um, if it looks all right. So this sanded plywood, I didn't love, but we just got some recently that looked better than this. So we used that for, um, for these and like some other backdrops we made. I still like the birch the way it looks way better. So in the future, I'm going to try to do it, but the sanded plywood is a lot more cost effective. So just depends what you need, but this one, mostly if you're painting it, these kind of come through a little bit, which is why I don't like it as much. But like this has more of a smooth texture and not as many of like these like ripples. So that would be the difference there. I don't get too picky with this because like, still stable if it's not perfect, you know. But yep. I like to get close. Yeah, it'd be really weird if it was on like one side. That would not wor work really. Yeah, but if it was off by like a quarter of an inch or something. Yeah, for sure. Notice, you know. Is that kind of long? That's what I was thinking too. That's really high up. You can go cut a chunk off of it. I turn off this one. I'll lay them out. And then, get some hinges. And I put, I put a little gap. I don't, I don't know if you have to, but I just think it... It works for it. us. Because even if you put them tight, they still kind of work, but I always worry that they'll, like, bind. Yeah. But I don't know if they would or not, but this works. So, do something like that. They don't have to be perfect or centered or anything. Like, again, it's the back, like, as long as it folds. So, that looks pretty good. And then two different size screws because the ones um, the ones on the top need to screw into the board underneath it. Obviously, this has to screw into here, but this one can't because it, it wouldn't open. That would be bad. So I use a three-quarter inch screw on the top, a half inch on the bottom. But. By the way, we're using half-inch material, so that's what both of those are. Sometimes we use different sizes depending on what we're doing, but generally our normal backdrops are half inch. It's nice and thick, but it's not too thick. Yeah. Gives a good look. Yep. Yeah. So. Um, made this a little smaller and drilled these a little bit like bigger so they so that these screws would hold this to here, but I don't like that as much. I don't think it's as strong. So now I actually just drill this thing down right into the one beneath it first. So I don't even do pilot holes or anything because it's the back. It, it works fine. Like that. Those. Put one here. inch screws in those so that it doesn't go all the way through. What oh, screws nice. did you just use? Three quarter, three quarter inch. Three quarter yeah. inch. That's the only really two size screws I use. They work fine. And then I like to use the the countersink head ones and then I, I don't know if you can see that on camera or not but it's tapered and then it matches up the size so that I'll have to take this off. So it looks like all nice and sits flat and it doesn't catch on anything. And, you know I, I like to go the extra mile. Okay, so it's as simple as that. He's got all the zillions of screws in. You do it right. You get that action. Now we'll stand it up and make sure it stands good. This is a pretty big, tall one. Normally we cut them in arches and stuff like that, but this one is going to have a slat wall next to it that's this exact same shape and they're gonna to be together. So 
Um, yeah, and it'll be kind of nice to have one big seven foot rectangle one, won't it? Yeah, and plain rectangle. Yeah, I think people actually really like that. And then you could put like a uh, smaller arch next to it and it'd be really cute and other things. So I actually am very happy about this, but here is how the back looks. And this is actually taller than we normally make it, um, but I think it looks really good actually. I think it'll work, so. Yeah, I think I meant to cut it to six feet, and I did, or five, and I did six. Oh, really? Yeah. Cause yeah. It would be, like, yeah, true, it, it is taller than me. Than me. Yeah. yeah. Which would look more like our normal ones, but it seems like it's working fine. Yeah, does it seem sturdy and everything? Like, yeah, I think it's good, actually, so. And then later, I will come and sand it and paint it. <laughs> 